Hello, welcome back. Sunday the 6th of March. I'm just going to spin you around and down on the micro orchard. We'll have a look what's been going on. So firstly, you'll see there's a stack of pallets over there, which I'm going to be using for, I'm going to make some more pallet bins. But I'll just show you what uh, the ones that I've finished now. I'll just have a walk down here. Oh, it's quite bright, you can hardly see. So I've got, showed you this last time, these three along here, and then I made a couple more this way on. So that one is the horse manure in there, and then that's the timber that I had over on the plot. I've, as you know, I'm gradually moving things over uh, in the likelihood that I'm going to give give it up uh, this back end and just concentrate with the veggie production at home so anyway I've got all that done I just need to come back down put some washers um, like I've done over, over there I don't know if you can see that it's just so that if a wind gets up it doesn't pull the head through the polycarb sheet but otherwise you know put a couple in there as well just to secure that bit but yeah, and then uh, you see I've repurposed some more stakes. Those were the stakes that had the uh, spalier. So they're 25 years old, still. So it's just the ends. So I cut them back to sound wood and then pointed them and put some jack black on, and we're ready to go again. So anyway, those pallets from up there um, are going to go down here I'll just show you, have a walk around so yesterday afternoon I came back down and uh, tried to clear up this corner there was ivy all everywhere growing out that's the heap of it over here look I'll have to burn that at some point uh, so I reckon I can get at least two um, pallet bays in this bit here and I've still got plenty of polycarb roof sheets left so I'll do the same thing there because um, all this brash, what I call brash, you know, all the twiggy bits uh, normally I'd just sort of have a big bonfire but with recent events in Ukraine and uh, the gas price soaring and everything suddenly realised that it's now become a pretty valuable resource so we're going to get, we're saving up for a wood burning stove um, because we, re, we rely entirely on gas for our heating which isn't good really so hopefully we'll get a wood burning stove put in this summer and then uh, put all this stuff you know under these pallet bays with a roof on it will just keep it nice and dry ready for burning so this lot here, that's that's hazel, and this one here is off for the pear tree. I'm going to show you that just now. So here's my two pear trees. That's what this one was like yesterday until I took the bow saw to it. Uh, you know, pretty big. Uh, so I'm going to top work this one. I'm going to rework it uh, today. That's the plan, and then as soon as I can, I'll get this one done as well. Uh, quickly the reason for doing it, it's a Williams pear, I like Williams pears but I've got a real problem with pear midge and the last two to three years have just destroyed the, um, the crop. So I've got a theory that um, Concord pear has some resistance to this pear midge so the plan is, is to re-graft it with um, scions of uh, Concord, the variety of pear Concord. Alright, so I've got my trusty little camping gas stove, we've got a tin to put water in and then this little pot here uh, to melt the grafting wax, which is in that white pot there. A couple of grafting knives, grafting tape, these are the Scions, Concord and the Secretaries. Alright, this branch here uh, has got a graft of the variety of pear called Selina. This came from uh, my friend Helen over in Norway. So I want to keep that. 
and also it will act as a bit of a so these little buds here are the variety Williams so I'll keep them on just for now so it can act as a sort of nurse branch if you will to help draw the sap up so I'm, we're going to graft into um, these bigger limbs here just move the camera around a wee bit this one here that little bit there is a bud graft of Concord which I put in is either last year was it or the year before I can't just remember but if you can see those marks there there's one there and one there they were also bud grafts they didn't grow out like this one but it's possible that they might do so what I'm going to do is cut above and then we're going to put uh, a couple of scions into each one so one here sorry a couple in that one a couple in that one a couple in that one and maybe a couple in the one just around the back there so uh, I've got a, a bow saw because I'm going to make a, a fresh cut so if you whatever saw just make sure it's got a really nice sharp blade on it so that you get a clean cut that's the main thing See, it's a nice clean cut, it hasn't um, torn any of the bark or anything like that. Where are we? Right, so here's a scion. So I say this is variety Concord. If you look at the end, it's gone a bit brown, so just going to snip that back to green wood. I hope that's coming across on the camera. Now we just want to make a, a sort of a sloping profile. A bit like that. Might just take a slither off the sides as well, just to expose more cambium layer, that's all. Okay, so now just measure roughly the length of the cut side against the back, so you know you're kind of going to make a cut. The length of that, so roughly around there. Zoom in a bit. Here's the cut. There's an argument, some say just better to do one side, but you know, I've usually had pretty good results doing lifting both sides of the cut. Okay, so now 
I don't want all the I can get to I can get two pieces out of this so zoom back out sorry so I'm just gonna go like one two three sloping cut above that bud there this one Right, pick up that other scion, I'm going to use that, then we're just going to insert with the sloping this facing inwards. Okay, then just going to do the same on the other side. Okay, that's the other side done. So we've got two in there, so now we'll just get some uh, grafting tape. Right, so just tied it off around the back there, and now I'll get the uh, gas stove going and we'll melt the wax and coat everything with the uh, grafting wax. Right, so I'll wait for the wax and that one to do see. So now we've got the wax, we've just got to coat the whole surface. Anyway. Here's there's any gaps around the side, I'm trying to fill them up with wax. Just avoid any sort of water getting in really. Don't forget any, uh, if you've got any tips, you can have a wax as well on the tips to stop uh, any sound sort of drying out. Alright, let's do that. Right, so, I'm just basically going to do the same thing as taking a look and then put the wax on and I'll stop trading off. I'll bring you back. There we are, guys. Just have a little walk around. So, what's that? Two, four, six, eight grafts. See, I've been chucking wax everywhere. Just really just trying to seal seal it up you know to stop any evaporation and stop water getting in I mean it almost looks like uh, the buds are bursting anyway that's on the cyan wood so time is of the essence I think we'll see how we go on I'm just going to turn around now now so this other one what I'll probably try and do is spend the rest of this morning getting rid of all these branches, I'll leave another nurse branch on, but the, there's a couple of grafts of um, Concord on here already, which I'd done a few years ago. This big branch here, so obviously that's going to stay, so that can act as a nurse branch. I think the grafting point is just there. And then uh, there's a smaller one, I think this, this one here, that's Concord and there's a small one around there. So there's a few um, graphs of that on already. I'll just be adding to it really. So like I say, I'm going to get this... Uh, I've got my bow saw there, so I might as well crack on. Try and get that done and then I can get down tomorrow and get it grafted. Uh, incidentally, the wood off that... That's going to be... I've just put it there for the time being. And I get it all logged up and um, put in my new uh, wood store. And then I've got to have a say this huge, well, pretty big pile of um, ivy. I'll have to get that burnt. I'm just spinning around. Oops. Um, these piles of uh, old pink cuttings, well, not cuttings, pinks. Um, dug those out replace them with fresh cuttings so all that needs to be burnt off as well because the grass is growing I actually cut our lawn yesterday oh well that was a nice bit of work uh, like I say I'm going to carry on with the uh, cutting that other pear tree back so thanks very much indeed for watching as always I appreciate your support leave me a thumbs up if you like the video and drop me a comment if you've got wood burning stove drop me a comment let me know how you find yours 
see you in the next one